Hello and welcome back to another video. It has been a little while for me to film, though you have probably seen videos in the time. Uh, we are back today with scroller box number 101, which is the January 2024 box, which is late, but scroller box have kept us informed all along about what's going on, so that's really good. Um, so, shall we have a look, see what's in there? I think so. Let's get started. If you don't know about Scroller Box, it is a monthly subscription box in the, from the UK. Um, it does ship worldwide, I think. One well, it does ship abroad anyway. Um, each month gets some mystery art supplies, um, a prompt, there's a featured artist, and a suite. So, yeah, let's see what we've got in this month's box. Ooh, 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 Boya crayons, ooh, okay, I'll have a look, have a look at, see what that is in a minute, we've got, take all these bits out and then we'll have a proper look. Okay, so, I've got a big clue already, we've got some crayons. Apparently, but we'll look into them a bit more in a minute. This is our scroller zine. I've got some kind of more abstract artwork on the front. We'll go through that again. This is our featured artist's artwork, and there's quite a lot of portrait bits to that. So, this is McKay. I'm gonna just let you read it because I'm gonna slaughter the name, and I really don't want to do that. Um, but this is a Greek. Is an artist based in Greek um, who was born in Tokyo. Um, so there's all the links you need to check her out. I think hoping you can see that. And this is our paper. Oh, there's our sticker. Got caught. But wow, we have got A5 newsprint paper, which is really it is quite thin. Very, very, very thin. Um, but we've got 100 sheets, which is, wow, that's really good. Thank you, school box. Okay, let's have a look inside the, the tissue paper. See what else we've got. Okay, so we've got De La Rowney black acrylic tape marker uh, and a pencil, a scroll of blanks pencil. So I'm assuming this is going to be HB, but we'll look in the scrollers in a minute. Ooh, and a Tango Blue Raspberry South is Tube Bar. That'll be nice. Pop that up there. Okay, let's go to the scrollers in because that will have more information about these supplies. Okay, it doesn't really. We now have to go to the QR code for supply information and prices. But these are kind of crayons by the looks of it. And pencil. Yeah, I have to look at that. I can't use my phone because that's what I'm using to film, so. Yeah, we'll have to play this by ear. Okay, this is the featured artist. And their interview. These are our scrawler tips. It tells us to hold the crayons. So they are crayons in different ways to create different marks. Lots of um, things about swatching, which we all know. How, trying to scratch the crayons. Um, not sure how well that's going to work on the newsprint paper because it's quite thin. But yeah, I can give it a go. Um, so you put the paint pen over the crayon and then scratch back from that. Okay, we'll give it a go. using continuous lines 
Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's go to this one. Scroll a gallery for box 99. That's the soft pastel box, which I found quite tricky to use. But these are some brilliant pictures. Um, lots of new people. Um, I mean, there's names I recognise, obviously, but not... Oh, Uncle Frogface. Sean's got in there. That'll please him, I'm sure. Um, Jean Bendel Art, I know, follows me on Instagram. I'm not sure if I follow her. I'll make sure I check that out. Um, but yeah, let's see who our top three are. So we've got Leia Cordy, the accidental artist. That's lovely. Alexandra Nina Mould and Alexandra Pastuza. The paralysis of analysis. But I like this. I like that they've got more than one PC and, and stuff. Yeah, it's lovely. And obviously I will always talk to you about the Scrawler community on Facebook. Lovely group. Definitely um, suggest checking it out. Okay, Scrawler Extra is Ancient Artifacts. Nice play on words there. And then we've got our Scrawler Challenge, which is... Everything flows, which kind of makes sense with the lines and things. So, and there will be a live for this box on Thursday, the 29th of February. Okay, so time to get swatching, I think. Let's start with the crayons. Um, hmm, how do we get them out? These are by Boyer. There's some things about them on the back. Oh, that's quite good. Colour stays on paper, not on hand. Resharpens as you draw. More material for a longer life. Oh wow, they're massive. Look at that. Look at the size of that. But I got the four colours. Let's give them a go. I'm not sure how much I'm going to like this paper. It's very thin and very kind of smooth. But it's probably right for these kind of crayons. Kind of get less colour obviously on the bigger bit, which surprised me. They're quite they're not as dense as I was dense. I thought they'd be more solid than they are, and you know look a stronger colour, that's the word. But obviously you can layer them up, that's quite good. It doesn't feel too bad either as wet grounds go. Oh. This one's quite, I don't know how well you can see it, it might be better like this, um, it's a light lighter, but because you've got the, the paper isn't white, so it's going to show up quite nicely under there. I don't know, maybe if I turn the light down a little bit, it might make it a little bit easier to put the flecked in so much. Right, let's go for the next one. They don't feel to use how I'd expect crayons to use, so it's not a sensory nightmare for me like I thought it would be. And yeah, you don't get it on your fingers, which is really cool. Right, final one. layer them across each other quite well while it's there. See how the light ones go across. The light one even kind of goes across. It doesn't obviously do as well. Yeah, I thought the blue would do all right. I'm not going to mind filling this page up because I'm going to try and do that 
scratch back once we get the paint pen out. But I'm not quite sure what will. I want to see how this pencil feels on the paper though first. It's stronger than you think, the paper. Oh. Right. Oh. It only will fit in the packet a certain way. Right, black paint pen from Taylor Rowney. These are, you can pick up these up really quite cheaply. I think I picked one up in Poundland a while back so activate it of course good shake and then dump it all down sorry oh come on goes over the, the, the crayon quite nicely. Right, I want to see how I'm meant to leave this to dry and then scratch back or Wait for it to dry, then gent lightly scratch back into it to reveal the colour beneath. So, I wonder how quick this will dry. It's not too bad. It's an interesting selection of. I don't know that it's going to be my favourite box, but we'll see. It could be. I like the silhouette idea as well. I like doing silhouettes, so we may go that way. What else have we got here? Texture rubbings. I mean, that is the thing with crayons, they are quite versatile. Uh, I don't think it's completely drawn. Dry. Maybe that's part of my issue. I don't really know how this paper's going to take it. Oh, yeah, you can. Just a little bit. can do line. It's not easy though. You can see some of it. I don't know how well you can see it. It's quite difficult for me to see. So. But it did start to come back. Obviously using the pencil is probably not the best idea. But I can't really use anything else because I haven't got anything to hand. But well, I mean the paper's held up quite well. Ooh. Comes out quite easily. So yeah, that's our supplies for this one. An interesting one. Definitely an interesting one. Very different. So definitely something different to play with. I do like the way these are packaged. And these are obviously just like uh set anyway. And they've got Instagram as well, Boya Crayons. So there we go. That is all for now. We will come back and do the scroller challenge in another video. So uh, thank you for watching and I will see you soon for another video.